What if your eye color holds a secret, passed down through thousands of years of ancestry? From icy blue eyes in Northern Europe to deep hazel tones in Iberia, every shade tells a story. So in this video we are going to explore the fascinating links between ancestry and eye color. Now this table shows a breakdown of eye colors across the globe. As you can see, brown is by far the most common, at around 70 to 80 percent of the world's population. Depending on the source, either gray or green eyes is considered the rarest eye color on earth. And let me know your eye color and ancestry in the comments below. Now, varying levels of melanin is the main driver of your eye color, which is largely driven by genetic mutations in the OCA2 and HERC2 genes. Gender also seems to influence eye color to some degree. Various studies have shown that men are more likely to have blue eyes than women, which could be linked to higher estrogen levels. Now let's look at the different eye colors and their ancestral links. First up is brown eyes, the original human eye color. This color is a result of a very high amount of melanin in the iris, a protective pigment that helps shield the eyes from ultraviolet UV radiation. From an ancestral perspective, brown eyes have always been advantageous near the equator, most notably in Africa, of course. This higher concentration of melanin in brown eyes offers much more protection against intense sunlight than say blue eyes. Now you sometimes see people refer to black eyes, but from a biological perspective, these are typically extremely dark brown. While they may appear black to the naked eye, under strong lighting they usually reveal brown or reddish tones. Now look at this table. It shows the breakdown of brown eyes per region of the globe. They are highest in Sub-Saharan Africa and East Asia of course, at over 99%. North Africa shows a little more variability though at around 90 to 95%. Colors like hazel and green are slightly more common here, and we even see gray eyes in some Berber populations of North Africa that we will discuss later. What is interesting is that the different regions of Europe show an incredible level of variability of brown eyes as this table shows. People in Southern Europe, Spain, Italy, Greece, Portugal, have much higher levels of brown eyes than people in Northern Europe, at 70 to 90% compared to 20 to 30% in the North. Various factors influence this. These include climate and also admixture events, as Southern Europe has had much more contact with North African ancestry than Northern Europe down through history. And speaking of Europe, this leads us nicely on to blue eyes. Now, blue eyes are obviously a key marker of European ancestry, and this eye color is very old in Europe. If we look at Cheddar Man, for instance, who was a hunter-gatherer who lived around 10,000 years ago in ancient England, he most likely had blue eyes, or blue-green eyes. We know this because he had the mutations in the HERC2 and OCA2 genes, which are the main cause of lighter eyes through reducing melanin production. And he wasn't an isolated case as European hunter-gatherers in general had high levels of blue eyes. Despite their appearance though, blue eyes actually have no blue pigment at all in them. Instead they have a relatively low amount of melanin, which allows light to be scattered in the iris, leading to a blue-looking color. This is a similar process to why the sky looks blue. Today, blue eyes are the second most common eye color in the world, found in around 8 to 10 percent of people, they are obviously most common in Europe, especially Northern and Northeast Europe, highest in places like the Baltic countries, Scandinavia and Finland. Climate is probably a key reason for this, given the dark winterly environment of Northern Europe. We know in general that lighter eyes are more sensitive to light, and blue eyes seem to perform better in low lighting conditions than brown eyes, as a 2024 paper found. From an evolutionary perspective, one obviously benefit of this would be that blue-eyed people had a better ability to hunt in low-light conditions. Various other factors also played a role though, and I do discuss these in a previous video on the origin and reason for blue eyes. Outside of Europe we also see blue eyes in some other populations. The Americas is the prime example of this. In North America, around 15 to 30 percent of people have blue eyes, Further south in Latin America, we see blue eyes in between 1 to 10 percent of people. These levels are largely a result of European admixture, either through the direct migration of European families or through peoples mixing with Europeans. Various events down through history played role in this spread, but the age of European empires and colonization was a key episode. The likes of the Spanish, Portuguese, British, Dutch, and French spread European genes across the world with the genes for blue eyes part of this spread. What about hazel eyes though? Well the name comes from the hazelnut, and they make up roughly 5% of the world's population. 
Hazel eyes are found in a wide range of ethnic groups, but they are most common in people of Brazilian, Middle Eastern, North African, and Spanish descent. A 2009 study found that 55.2% of their Spanish cohort had hazel green eyes. In the United States about 18% of people have this eye color, reflecting the mixed European ancestries there. As I note in a previous video on Iberian DNA and hazel eyes, they are often found in populations where blue and brown-eyed ancestry has mixed, such as Iberia. Now hazel eyes can often appear more green or more brown, and the concentration of melanin is somewhere in between blue and brown. A yellow pigment called lipochrome is also usually present as well. This blend allows hazel irises to reflect a mosaic of colors. The science behind hazel eyes is essentially a combination of Rayleigh scattering, the same phenomenon behind blue eyes, and a moderate amount of melanin in the iris. Next up is amber eyes, which are of a solid golden yellow hue, often compared to the rich color of honey. This eye color is distinct from hazel in that amber eyes usually do not show the mixed greens or browns that hazel eyes do, instead they are more of a uniform gold, copper, or russet tone. The golden tint comes from the presence of lots of lipochrome, this yellow pigment in the iris, coupled with low to moderate melanin. In the animal kingdom many creatures have amber eyes for instance wolves, domestic cats, owls and eagles often exhibit yellow or orange irises due to similar pigments. They are sometimes known as wolf eyes due to this. In humans however, pure amber eyes are quite rare, occurring in an estimated 5% of people worldwide. The highest numbers of people with amber eyes are found in Europe, especially southern Europe, in places like Spain. We also see them at elevated levels in the Middle East and the Caucasus, as well as in North Africa, Latin America, and North America to some level. Because amber eyes can sometimes be mistaken for hazel or light brown, their exact distribution is not well documented. Now one of most enigmatic and rarest eye colors is green, with only around tilde, 2% of the world's population having them. They are most common in people of Celtic and Germanic ancestry, as they are also somewhat connected to the Vikings as well down through history. If you look at this table, you can see that the countries with the highest percentages of people with green eyes are in Ireland, Scotland, and Iceland. They are also relatively common in places like Scandinavia and Germany. One study noted that among Americans of European descent, those with Celtic or Germanic heritage had the highest prevalence of green eyes, around 16%. In Iceland, a survey found green eyes in about 18-20% of women and 8-10% of men. This hints at a curious sex difference when it comes to this eye color. True green eyes result from a combination of pigments and scattering. They have a moderate amount of melanin, plus this golden yellow pigment called lipochrome in the iris. When light enters, the brown melanin can give a yellow or light brown cast, which mixes with blue light scattering from the stroma, producing green. From a historical perspective it's plausible that green eyes emerged in populations where blue eye variants and brown eye variants intermingled, although they have a complex genetic makeup that isn't fully understood yet. Some ancient DNA evidence hints that green eyes may have been present in Eurasia during the Bronze Age. A 2009 study for instance concluded that South Siberians were blue or green-eyed, fair-skinned and light-haired people, and that they might have played a role in the early development of the Tarim Basin civilization. Now next up is another very rare eye color, gray, although estimates vary slightly on how rare they are. Some estimates say as little as 1% of people have them around the world, which would make them the rarest, whereas others put the figure at around 3%. Like blue eyes, gray eyes have a low level of melanin and rely on light scattering, but scientists think there's an extra factor at play that distinguishes them from blue. One hypothesis is that gray eyes have more collagen deposits in the stroma, which is the front layer of the iris which tend to scatter light differently. Others argue that gray and blue eyes might differ in the concentration of melanin. What we do know is that under magnification, gray irises often show specks of yellow and brown pigment amidst the gray. Now gray eyes are most commonly found in the same general regions as blue eyes, northern and eastern Europe. For example, gray eyes can be frequently seen among people in the Baltic countries, Scandinavia as well as in Russia. Some Vikings also seem to have had gray eyes and probably helped to spread this trait to some degree. Gray eyes also pop up in some unexpected places though, likely due to ancient migrations. Certain Berber peoples in North Africa for example such as the Shawiya people of Algeria, have a higher occurrence of gray or gray-blue eyes, a legacy perhaps of Euro-Mediterranean gene flow over centuries. Gray or blue eyes can also be seen occasionally in the Middle East, Iran and South Asia. 
for instance among the peoples of Afghanistan or northern India, reflecting admixture with Eurasian steppe ancestors or simply the diversity within those large populations. These instances remind us how human migrations and conquests have spread eye genes far and wide. But what's your eye color and ancestry? Please let me know in the comments below and as we have seen your eye color can actually reveal quite a lot about your ancestry. But to find out more about hazel eyes and Iberian DNA, please click here.